fast approaches. Yeah, and some people are excited for it, but definitely watching for that cold front mm -hmm. that's coming in. Fox 4 certified meteorologist Katie Walls joining us. Katie. Coldest weekend so far in 2023. That said, it's only January 12th. We've only had a few of them, but regardless, it is the chilliest air that we have felt since Christmas. So if you thought it was chilly on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, which absolutely it was, it was one of the coldest Christmases we've ever had on record here. Well, it does look like this weekend's going to be pretty chilly, especially as we see morning lows drop into the 30s. The coldest so far this winter. Yes, you heard that correctly. We did not hit the 30s uh, over December, even though it certainly felt like it. So head up your Sunday morning, especially going to be on the chilly side, all courtesy of a powerful cold front, which is currently working its way through the southeast. Right now, that front producing strong, severe storms from parts of South Carolina back through Georgia into southern Alabama, as well as the panhandle. The good news, though, is that by the time this system works its way towards southwest Florida, it won't have much in the way of energy. Not really worried about strong or severe weather. We could see some embedded thunderstorms tomorrow morning, but that said, it will mainly just be scattered showers with a couple of rumbles mixed in. That's what we have to look forward to tomorrow morning, especially for the morning drive. So heads up there it could be some slowdowns, but heading out this evening picture perfect. We are still enjoying quiet conditions. Now let's take a closer look at when that wet weather could potentially affect you right here at 7 a.m. That's when our northern communities will start to get hit by that line. Again, scattered showers and storms, especially between 7 a.m. and around 1 p.m. That's going to be our threshold for that potential. So first, it will start in our northern counties, Sarasota, DeSoto into Charlotte, then work its way through Lee, Glades, Hendry into Collier. But right here by around lunch, most of that activity shifting into interior Collier County and starting to head toward Fort Lauderdale. So for most of us, by around lunchtime, the wet weather is done. Then for the cold front, the cold front will be coming through in the afternoon and you'll feel it pass through your neighborhood. Winds will shift and they will be picking up. We'll be seeing some gusts around 30 miles per hour tomorrow. Heads up. The breeze picks up tomorrow and it does look like it's going to stay on the brisk side over the weekend. Gusts both Saturday, Sunday around 25 miles per hour. So heading into your Saturday morning, lots of sunshine expected, but we're going to kick things off with widespread 40s, staying cool for the afternoon. Your high temperatures on Saturday, just 60 degrees. Some locations not even getting out of the 50s for your Saturday afternoon, about 15 degrees below normal. And then Sunday, that will be the morning to watch very close. Closely widespread 30s are expected. Then when you factor in the wind for a lot of communities, it's going to be feeling more like freezing for Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon, lots of sunshine. We'll see a little bit of a bump with those temperatures back to the mid 60s. So for tomorrow, it's kind of an interesting day. It's going to start off on the mild side. Temperature is actually kind of warm and muggy ahead of that front scattered rain for the morning. We'll hit our high temperature close to 70 right around lunch. Then for the afternoon, falling temperatures are expected. And then heading out in the evening, temperatures will continue to drop. So heads up from the 60s into the 50s. And again, it will be pretty breezy as we head into tomorrow evening. Look at those wind chills for your Saturday morning. It's going to be feeling more like the mid 30s for Moorhaven, as well as Arcadia and even chillier for your Sunday morning. But then Martin Luther King Jr. holiday, we're right back to the 70s with sunshine.